there are many arousal systems in the brain. The one I'm going to refer to particularly is called the attentional spotlight. It's the same one you're using if you're trying to talk to me and may be bothered with because it's really hot in here, isn't it? Yeah? And because it's really hot in here, you might be struggling to pay attention to me because it's the attentional spotlight. So that's the arousal system I want to talk about specifically. That cannot multitask. It is a sequential processor. It's a time a slicer, but it is in fact a single sequential processing system. There's an area in the brain called Brodmann Area 10. It's right here. You can think of it as mother. Every time you want to switch time, you're on a cell phone and then you want to start, or you're on an email and suddenly you want to pick up a cell phone. Every time you want to stop the email and pick up the cell phone, you have to consult mother. You have to consult Brodmann Area 10. And Brodmann Area 10 will only take one input at a time. The best way you can see this is with cell phones and driving. Yes, I'm about to say this. You can actually show, because at the attentional spotlight, which is what's deployed with cell phone and driving, you cannot simultaneously talk on the cell phone and drive. And there's lots of different ways to show that the independent variable is your ability to imagine what's going on in somebody else's head while you're talking to them that is the distractor. And you can actually show that for certain mean reaction times inside uh, muscle groups that are involved in driving, that if you are talking on the cell phone, you have the mean reaction time subgroup quotient of the same person who is not on the cell phone but who is driving with a blood alcohol content of 0.08 and in some cases 0.12. So I, when my 10-year-old and my 8-year-old are in the car and I see somebody with a cell phone, I know darn well they have the reaction competency of somebody who is drunk and I slow way, way down and I want to get a bumper sticker that says, hang up and drive. 